Find the surface area given the volume. Let's read through this problem and decide what the best process is for finding the surface area given the volume. The base of the following pyramid is a square. If the volume of the pyramid is 108 inches cubed, what is its surface area? Round the answer to the nearest hundredth. So the first thing I want to note that is that I'm looking for the surface area. And I'm going to write the surface area formula here. Surface area equals side squared plus 2SL, which means we're going to need the slant height in this calculation in order to come up with the surface area. So by looking at the picture, I'm missing the slant height, missing the height, but I have the side length of the base of my pyramid. So I'm going to need to do use two steps again. My first step is going to be to find the height using volume. I know that the volume of my pyramid is 108 inches cubed, so I can set up that volume formula, 108 equals 1 third times base area. Well, base area is just 6 times 6, which is 36, times height. And I can solve for h. My second step is then going to be to use Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to call it pt in order to find the slant height. So if we're going to use Pythagorean theorem, we're going to set up that same tri right triangle that you see right here inside the pyramid. I'm going to draw it out here. And then we'll be able to find the slant height. Then finally, we'll have enough information to plug into the surface area formula. Let's begin. So if I want to find the height of this pyramid, I would do 1 third times 36 is 12. So I have 108 equals 12 times h. And then if I divide both sides by 12, I have h equals 9 inches. So the height of the pyramid is 9 inches. Now I'm going to use that 9 inches in my triangle to figure out the slant height. Remember that half of the side gives you the base of the right triangle. So that's why I wrote a 3 down at the base. Let's set this up. We'll have 9 squared plus 3 squared equals L squared. 9 squared is 81 plus 9 is 3 squared equals L squared. So we'll have 90 equals L squared. Well, 90 is not a perfect square. So L is going to equal the square root of 90, which is approximately 9.49 inches. Now I can use that slant height in my surface area calculation. The surface area formula says side squared, so I'll put 6 squared, plus 2 times the side length times the slant height. If I do out this addition and this multiplication, I'll get the surface area to be 149.88 inches squared. And I'm just going to write this over here on the line. 148, or 149 rather, 0.88. 